Matt Boyd here with um My name is Michael. Michael. Michael, he's an out he's an outfielder on the team. Plays a little bit. So Michael, um yeah. He's an all American again. So Mike, uh first day in Omaha here. What are the emotions going through your head? A uh, lot of lot of uh <laughs> a lot of excitement. Uh you know, we're out here, we get to play a little bit. Run around, get those uh, get those jitters out a little bit. Um, feels good to be out here. How's the ball flying here in Nebraska as compared to the great state of Oregon? Well, we're on a pretty healthy size field out here. It's 400 to center, and uh, we've been putting a couple balls out in dead central and and, and all over the place. So, did, did Espo? Espo. Nate Esposito hit a ball out, which is uh, actually. The, the most in, the most incredible thing I've ever heard in my life. The ball is flying well. The ball flies here. First of all, I just I want to say you know everyone's been dogging my boy over here about not being able to hit one out at Goss Stadium, but I have witnessed one home run from Nate Esposito. Let's fact. let's just talk about that first. It's a fact. Yeah. Well, uh, that was one Sunday afternoon, lazy Sunday afternoon, and uh, you know me and the boys were out there hacking away, and. Uh, you know, Daniel was just lucky to see it. Probably went about 550, 560 around there over the uh, left wall. Yeah, I mean, I recall it hitting the top of the batting cages, but, I mean, we'll give him 550. I but, I mean, at this high school yard, I mean, we got 325 down the lines, yeah. 400 in center. Mm -hmm. I did hear that you hit one out today while I was out there in the cages. Yeah, Let's actually, just go over that. The, this is the, the real truth right here. Um, you know, the first one I hit, I didn't think I got it. Went out barely. Second one, I got a hold of it. Said I didn't get it just to sound cool, but I – Hit it over that silver fence over there onto the road, probably around 375 feet. Wow, probably. that's that's some real power. I mean, we got cars driving out there. You know, that could have been a hazard. Yeah, it could have been, but it wasn't, so uh, we're good. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Jenks for throwing great BP. So. All right, that's a wrap. I mean, we just talked about Espo's two home runs in his you know, college BP career. <laughs> Max Gordon here with uh, freshman phenom uh, Andrew Moore. That's up. Um, That's my name. So, Andrew, what are you thinking about your first day here in Omaha? I love it. You know, a little rain uh, feels like back home, but no, it's been awesome. Um, got the police escort to the hotel and had the fans waiting for us. Uh, once we got there, it's uh, it's pretty cool. So, it's you, been fun. You excited about opening ceremony tomorrow? The big the big day under the lights? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't heard too much about it, but you know, it should be should be a quite a show. So yeah, gonna be fun. Gonna be a quite a blast. How about these uh, facilities we've been hooked up with here at the uh, old Bellevue East High School? What do you think? Oh, shout out Bellevue East High School for sure. You know, they're, uh, you know, letting us get some grounders here and uh, hitting a little BP. Got some fans out there shagging for us. So um, it's a good little situation we got right here. Yep. Well, I think that's going to do, do it for all of us here at News Channel 12. Um, Stay classy, Corvallis. Yeah, Daniel Hayes, big Daniel right here. I just want some TV time. Big you know? Daniel getting the final out of the Super Regional, getting that TV time, you know what I mean? Daniel, how's your first day in Omaha going? Uh, excellent, you know. Uh, we're all pr probably, you know, living off of about three hours of sleep, you know. A little antsy, couldn't sleep last night, but, uh, you know, we're up and grinding. Definitely. Hey, how about that first class service on the plane? How do you enjoy your flight? Well, you know. I kicked my recliner back, you know, I was just like a lazy boy and uh, hit the snooze button a few times, you know, on the flight and uh, got a nice little breakfast sandwich. I had to hit a McDonald's breakfast this morning, you know, so it was a good, you know, recovery from that. But, I mean, can't go wrong with breakfast sandwiches. Definitely, Daniel. So, Daniel, there's one big thing on the, the club. You're known as the, the better looking guy on this team. And, um, you know... What are, what are your tips? What are your pregame tips to those kids at home trying to uh, look good uh, when they play baseball? Well, you know, it's all about, you know, it's all about everything. You know, look good to play good. That's my motto. And, uh, <laughs> you know, off the field, you got to go with the comb over. You do. The grown man swag, grown up look. Got to get out of the elementary school look, you know, with that <laughs> shaved head. Got a little hair flow. Next you know, maybe if baseball doesn't work out, maybe become a model. <laughs> Okay, what about uh, scents? Do you have a pr uh, fragrance of choice? Ah, you know, not really, you know. I kind of have a variety of colognes at Hardy. Okay, we're going we're gonna to cut this thing short here. Short? Short, hey. It's Matt Boyd, Danny Hayes, and Michael Conforter for you.